Thank you. Chattanooga Bar is in danger of being closed down after a deadly shooting on the property adds to a long list of police calls. Today we learned Chattanooga police have responded to the bar 470 times since 2015. Aaron Cooper joins us now. Aaron, what do we know about the possibility of the police department looking to close the doors for good? Josh, Latricia, despite numerous attempts to reach out to the owners, manager, and spokesperson for Coyote Jacks, it has been radio silence. And even though they haven't shared their side with us, the Chattanooga Police Department say that they are considering legal action. Three shootings outside this Chattanooga club in one year. <laughs> Chattanooga police say this time the gunshots heard on this Facebook video were fatal. Now, a police spokesperson says Police Chief Roddy is working with the city attorney to examine this shooting that left one 19-year-old dead, exploring if it could be, quote, used in any future legal actions up to and including the closing of Coyote Jacks. I spoke with Curtis Green over the phone, who owns a security company that works with other clubs like Reagan's Place and Southside Social here in town. He he says his guards once worked at Coyote Jacks. I just didn't like the way that they were handling things, so we pulled, I pulled my guys from down there. It's getting a little too dangerous. He tells me he wanted Coyote Jacks to increase security, and the venue did not agree. The venue, it didn't offer mature crowds, so I, I didn't want to be. I didn't want to have my guys down there. Chattanooga police released their officer's body camera video from the latest shooting, showing the chaos that ensued. I don't know why the Coyote Jacks it remains open. With 20 years of experience in law enforcement, Green says legal action to close the venue is in the public's best interest. When it comes to uh, the public safety, uh, that's our number one priority is the safety of the public and actually the patrons. So at this point in time, I think it's, uh, I think it's nothing but positive for the venue to uh, be shut down. Now, as we reported in the past, Ronnie Burke, who is the uncle of Chattanooga's mayor, Andy Burke, co-owns Co Coyote Jacks. Today, the mayor released a statement saying that he won't be involved in any decisions regarding the venue because of that relationship. Now, coming up at 6, a look at how many times police have responded here this year and in years past. Reporting live downtown in Chattanooga, I'm Aaron Cooper, News Channel 9. Aaron, thank you. At this time, CPD has not made an arrest in yesterday's shooting. We'll bring you more updates as we learn more.